Welcome back to my favorite time of the day, animals. animals. Summer is here and many dogs love to swim. Ear infections are very common in dogs and dogs can get them after swimming in any type of water. Joining me now with some solutions is Dr. Christian Broadhurst, a veterinarian with Clay County Humane Society. Always here with us, always a pleasure to see you. Well, thanks for having me. But always, me. A, I love to see the animals. I know. So who do we have here? This is Lady, right? This is Lady, yep. She is up for adoption. She is, uh, her previous owner went into hospice. And so she's actually with an organization that is trying to help find her home. So we thought we'd get her a little time. Yeah. Unfortunately, she does need to be an only dog in the house. Mm -hmm. um, she loves people, just not other animals so Look much. Look at her. She loves everyone and everything. Everybody in the studio is so interested. She's just and staring just at them. Yep. She's like, hi, I'm Lady. Okay, so Lady actually has perfect ears for this segment because yes. look how cute they are. Yeah, they stand up quite nicely. And, you know, when we talk about ear infections in dogs, usually it's in floppy ear dogs, but not always. Yeah. Um, and Lady is a case in point. Um, Bulldogs tend to have very sensitive ears because of their allergies. They're very prone to allergies. Yeah. And she actually has herself a mild yeast infection at this point in time, which we're currently treating her for. So the big question is, how do you know if your animal has yeah. an ear infection? Generally speaking, it's shaking of the head, mm -hmm. digging at the ears, or if you, you notice a smell or an odor out of your dog. Oh, Hi, lady. You stay over here. You Hi, stay, lady. You're shedding very much. <laughs> um, so if you notice a smell or an odor or discharge from the ears, it's likely an ear infection. So. Should you be concerned every time you have your animal in the water or what do you do, uh, you know, how, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It depends. Some dogs, if you know that your dog has very sensitive ears, it would be a good idea to flush them out every time your dog goes swimming, let them shake them dry. There's a lot of space in those ears to trap water and stuff down in there. Um, but if you have a, a dog who's never had skin problems, never had ear problems and they swim all the time, then you're probably okay with periodic just maintenance ear flushes. How often do you recommend the periodic maintenance? Um, if, you're, if you have a dog with normal ears, once or twice a month is plenty. Um, if you have a dog with problem ears, like Lady, um, <laughs> I would recommend at least once a week flushing those ears out. But for certainly for, for better recommendations tailored to your dog, talk to your veterinarian for And there's sure. tons of solutions to mm -hmm. wash out their ears. Is there anyone you recommend? Um, if you, they're all, pretty much all of the over-the-counter ear flushes are good for maintenance. If you happen to have a particular problem with yeast infections or bacterial infections, or you have a lot of earwax and you probably need to go get a medicated flush from your vet. And what about cats? Can they get ear infections? They can, although interestingly enough, cat ear infections are usually ear mite related. Dogs very, very rarely get ear mites. So, wow. yeah, because it's, uh, it's animal to animal and cats communicate by rubbing heads and well, they pass ear mites from one to the other. That's really not quite so much how dogs communicate. That makes sense. And something very important you taught me was uh, dogs' ear canals are very different than ours. Yes, they are. Ours are straight in to your eardrum. Yeah. Um, dogs have an L-shaped ear canal, so it goes down first, and then it turns and goes sideways. So we definitely, if you're going to flush your ears at home, um, you know, pour the solution in there, massage them, let the dog shake the ears, Wipe out what you can with a finger. Do not put Q-tips in there. It is very possible to injure the eardrum. And very dangerous, yeah. 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 All right, so Lady, once again, up for adoption right now? Yes, she is. Call us at Clay Humane if you're interested. Look how cute she is. So if your dog does swim, make sure you clean it out every once in a while. But we want to hear what you say. How often do you clean out your dog's ears? 